SA focused clusters, <clears throat> these are where a lot of research is needed. Okay. Uh, I most of my students make the mistake of starting with doing the personal statement. And I go the other way. I'm like, no, let's first find the campus that you want to go for. So for example, the strategy is decide your campus, finalize the two clusters that you want to do, research the why for each cluster. You should be able to read the cluster content end to end, okay? And come out, is it worth a month of effort? Will it help you in the future something? Have some bullet points for all the essays and how the synergies come together. Then talk about the two activities, after that, so once you've written the two activities, then you write your two cluster specific essays, which are 200 words each. Then you work on the personal statement, okay? Versus going the other way around, like most students will literally go, they'll work on the clusters last. I think the clusters are very, very critical because there are professors who are um, proctoring the, um, or monitoring the essays and the details. How do you do the research? For example, if you've been given a, a cluster or in a particular um, uh, campus, internet of things okay? research it look at the professor the details of the professor what they have done i mean you're going to live a whole month with these guys okay professors should be interesting in some form they should have done something some research that intrigues you <clears throat> okay look at the prerequisite classes that that particular cluster has and uh, if the cluster is harder to get into because they're expecting more things from you you can also expect less people applying to it, okay? Um, unless you're gonna apply for a cluster which has, like the ones which have no prerequisites are best for eight graders, right? It's rising ninth graders, rising 10th graders, okay? If as an 11th grader, you're applying to a cluster which has no prerequisites or some very basic credit uh, prerequisites that eight, ninth graders will have, you are trying to game the system, okay? Uh, try to go for clusters which are a little harder as you get, you know, a little more mature. This is how you want to think about a cluster essay. Okay? Now your goal is not to write each of these answers and try to then make, make it make sense together. It's literally like having a conversation with somebody where you've given these four answers within the context of it. Like you've got, if it's a 200 word essay, you have less than two minutes to explain that topic to somebody. So conversationally, you should be able to say what you're going to learn, what intrigued you about it the purpose and the potential of that field or why you all wanted to do it because there's a personal connection. How will you apply this learning? This could be the reason why I choose a particular major or decide to do some more research down the line. I have already got some research planned out. This is a fantastic segue along the way. Maybe there's an AP course I'm doing that down the line, maybe a college level course I'm going to do at a community college. So what I learn over here is going to apply to that or vice versa. I did something and I still had some concepts which I was not very clear about. So I'm hoping to do some research over here or learn in this in this cluster, work with others to find some solutions. You can get a little creative, it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Why are you uniquely qualified? It's not just the academics. They can see the academics already, okay? You don't have to tell them, I got an A in this subject, so I'm good at this subject. You'd have to talk about something, some intellectual curiosity of some lab that was done in the class or some experience related to that cluster that has given you some context that to the last point, these this is how it will benefit the whole class. Like this is the diversity of experience you bring in that you could help the class with.